back to the Cabbage Patch for an actual review this time. This is our first one of 2022. Yeah. Uh, and today we're reviewing a very old game called Broadside. Broadside. I think this, Broadside. I want to say that this is from like the early 80s, if not the late 70s. It is a Milton Bradley game. It is a game about the War of 1812. And one side is the British and the other side is the Americans. The Americans are trying to prevent the merchant ships from being sunk in this port here. And as you can see by the lack of the any lack of red any red ships, ships the, the, the American ships won. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, the, the models are these uh, little fiddly uh, ship models with removable masts. And the masts represent the damage that can be done to the ship. Um, you take turns, there's no dice. If you get within, and the reason it's called broadside, if you if two ships are next to each other at the end of a movement phase, they exchange fire and they each lose a mast. Yeah, but if one ship is like this. If one ship only has one mast left, then it loses, and this ship loses its mast. So the damage is pretty simple. And if, and if one ship is facing forward and the other ship has its side to the... Yep, and, and, and they don't trade fire, they just get shot. Yeah. It's called broadside. Broadside. So um, the map is is decidedly old school. The pieces are solid pieces of plastic. There are these shore batteries that the blue player places uh, at secret that when you turn them over they say whether they hit or miss. And then there are these buoys on the map that are, the blue player places in secret and when you turn them over they say sink or pass. Um, so it's a pretty fast game. It played pretty pretty quickly and it uh, I thought that Tommy was going to win outright, but we got him down to a, a couple of ships and we sank one of the merchant ships. But I go. But you did get us, right? So it plays a little bit like, it's a little bit like chess. And a little bit like, uh, I can't remember the name. Well, you'll, it'll come to you. And early in the round, I did battle a little trip. bit of well, a it's sneaky kinda, it's kind of like battle with trip. the... I did it away. So I guess it's a little bit like that. It was sneaky with these because I co committed some of them to memory. Right, which is what you're supposed to do. Um, and, and I messed them around, but I didn't actually mess them around. Oh, wow, very cool. Well, that's very sneaky. Yes, because we I did we did a mulligan through we, the miss thing and yeah, killed that. We did a mulligan move. So the blue player can't just go through these without suffering the consequences, hit, sink, or miss. The shore batteries that were here. Uh, are only one one use, I believe. I don't know if they come off the board or not. I'll have to look at the rules. The rules are on the back of the uh, box. back of the box pop in a very old school board game kind of way. So there isn't a separate rule book, although it did come with a book of the uh, famous battles of the War of eighteen twelve, which we cannot find. Which I think is underneath the board, so we'll find it soon. Um, I think it's very cool. Did you know the War of eighteen twelve was where the USS Constitution was fought? No. And that's the ship that's in downtown Boston where we live, right? Yeah. Cool. All right. What would you like about it, Gus? I it's like really only a two-player game, so Gus, we're kind of I playing like, as a team. I like the strategy. Yeah? So you can only you can turn and move. You can just move. You can move any number of spaces. But you have to really think about where you're going to end up because we got blasted a couple times because we weren't thinking too far enough far ahead. And then Tommy got blasted a couple times for the same reason. So you like the strategy. What did you like, Tommy? Um, I like the, the strategy as well. The sne you can do sneakies. Yeah, you can do sneakies. Um, I kind of like the damage system. Now, the, the copy that I found doesn't have all of the sails, so I had to improvise for some of them. But we had enough We had enough sails, and I used a toothpick for one of the ships uh, to tra keep track of all the damage. I am a, I'm a sucker for, sh for ship games. And I'm a sucker for ship games that have model ships in them. So I like the aesthetic as well. Um, and I like the fact that you, you, you it's asymmetric. You have a goal. Our, the British goal is to just blow everybody up, but the Americans have got to keep this, these ships from being sunk. Although, since this is a really old game, yeah. him, uh, the, the things are fiddly. Yeah, the things are awfully fiddly. I think I suspect that they might have been fiddly when, when we... Uh, when it was new, also but they're very, extra fiddly There's now. also a very low chance that you're going to be able to get this for yourself. Since it is. Yeah, no, I found this on Facebook Marketplace uh, for uh, very inexpensive. At the same time, I found another game that I really wanted, so it was uh, it was a good find. 
so we'll put this in a playlist with the uh, the World War Two the World War Two game that we had. And get and maybe make a new playlist called Games You Can't Really Buy Anymore. Maybe we could make a playlist of games you can't really buy anymore. Where'd you like? So you like the strategy? You like the strategy? I like the models. I did like the strategy too. It was a little bit like playing chess. You had to think about what was going to happen in a couple of moves. Um, cool. Anything else? Um, I liked the placement of the movies in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. The so having you guys having you the blue side having these guns. And if and if Red Sox and if Red Team calls a mulligan because because one of their players made a mistake. Yeah, you can re you can remix things to yeah. hide what was going on. Or pretend to. Or pretend things. to as you did. Yeah. Cool. All right, ready to give for godlike plays like charging through charging through the fake the, the fake buoy. That's right. Was so that was a really good play. I almost got another ship. So it's only a two player game, but we played it. Uh, Gus and I as a team. Tommy played blue, uh, and that's it. I liked it. You ready to give it a score? Yeah. What are you gonna give it? Solid two. A solid two. How about you, Gus? Another solid two. I think I'm gonna give it a solid two as well. Solid uh, it's, six. It's hard to it's hard to give them a hard time for the bits being fiddly because the game is like 40 years old. But and we uh, need new cabbages because solid, the solid. A solid cabbage. They're not supposed to be solid. No, they're not supposed to be solid. Um, so that's a six, six cabbages. Cool. Anything else before we go? No. Nope. All right. You want to do the outro? Subscribe, like, at the bell, Tommy. Leave a comment if you wish. Eat plenty of cabbages, not us, though. Because then the blue team will come, come and do epic godlike plays. <laughs> Unless you sneak on. Unless you sneak All on. Right. Good All right. Bye, Goodbye. Goodbye.